Mohammed Hassan Ismail Farah. He also arrived in Canada two years ago as a refugee. But high school students held in these military cells remember him as the police lieutenant colonel who brutally interrogated them. He tortured me by himself. I was sentenced to death and they put me in a jail. I was being tortured like electrical shocks, beating. A second Barry official in Canada was one of his senior police officers in the Criminal Investigations Department. Mohammed Hassan Ismail Farah arrived in November 1991. He told immigration officials he was with the Somali anti-drug squad for 17 years. In Somalia, Farah was a police officer, but his war was against dissidents, not drugs. In 1984, Barry arrested hundreds of high school students for protesting against his regime. Seven boys were taken here to these military barracks in Hargeza and were sentenced to death. They broke into our house at night. I was pulled from my bed and taken to a place near the military headquarters. Farah was in charge. Abdi Mohammed Ismail was one of those boys. Now in London, England, he never forgot what Farah did to him. He took pliers to take out my tooth. He said, if you don't answer all our questions, we will pull out all your teeth. Then he pulled the other tooth and I lost consciousness. Ismail had no trouble recognizing his torturer. Yes. This one. This one is a man, Farah. Another of the seven condemned teenagers now lives in Toronto, not far from his torturer. Yusuf Mohammed Isse was 15 when he faced Farah in a jail cell. What kind of ways were you tortured? They tied me up like this. They put my hands and my legs together and I was tied up at least 24 hours. And they hit me. Something I felt like a bird of the rifle on my cheek. Is this the man who tortured you? Yes, he is Muhammad Hassan Farah. Only a worldwide campaign by Amnesty International saved Yusuf, Ismail, and four other boys from the firing squad. The seventh was executed. Farah wouldn't be interviewed. His lawyer says Farah was not in Somalia in the summer of 1984 when the students were tortured. He was declared a credible refugee last January and got his work permit a month later.